Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. 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 Yes. Hi, students. How's it going tonight? Today is Friday. Welcome to tonight's class. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are you all ready for tonight's class? Yes, I'm ready. Sure. Yes, I'm ready. Tell me, tell me, what are your plans for this weekend, huh? What are your plans for this weekend? Sleep. I'm going to go to the church. You're going to go to the church. That sounds great. Somebody is going to sleep. Yeah. That's also good. <laughs> and the other students? I'm um, gonna go to the world play soccer. Excellent, excellent. Work. All right. Work. Make some money, huh? Make some money. And the other students. And the other students. The other students, okay. What about what about yesterday's class? What do you remember from yesterday's class, huh? <clears throat> what do you remember from yesterday's class? Tell me, tell me. Um, I am not wearing boots. Why not wearing boots? Yes, we were talking about clothes. Repeat, clothes. No, that no. is correct, Patricia. I am wearing. So today, today, present continuous, present continuous, I am, I am wearing, yes, I am wearing a black shirt, black jeans, in black shoes. What about you? What are you wearing tonight? Volunteers, go ahead. I am wearing I am wearing a blue shirt and pants. Aren't you wearing shoes or sandals? I no. I don't worry. <laughs> I am not wearing. I am not wearing. Am not wearing. Yeah. All right. You are in your house, right? You are yeah, comfy. Because, uh -huh, because at this moment, I am, I am in my bed. <laughs> Good. Good for you. I like that answer. Yeah. Hey, I saw one hand raise. Hey, who is the person who was raising the hand? It was, it was you, Wilfred? Who was it? Who was it? We have no more volunteers. I am wearing a t-shirt selection El Salvador. That's a jersey. We we jersey. call it a jersey. That's El Salvador's jersey. One jersey. point, one extra yeah. point for you. That's a beautiful jersey. <laughs> Are you wearing jersey. shorts? Are you wearing shorts? Yeah. Yes, light blue. Light blue shorts? Okay. I, am wear, I am wearing shorts, light blue. Light blue, okay, light blue shirts. I am wearing light blue shirts. Light blue shirts. Mm -hmm. Are you wearing shoes or sneakers? Sneakers, no, um, shorts. Shoes, black shoes, okay. Shoes, shoes. Mm -hmm. Adelante, ¿quién tiene un comentario? Go ahead. No more volunteers? No more volunteers? It's here. Yes, go ahead. And I am wearing t-shirt black. Vamos a usar el artículo a, a black. A, oh, sorry. A. T-shirt a black. A t-shirt. A black t-shirt. Repeat, black. a black t-shirt. A black a, a black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Um, 
Mm -hmm. A black t-shirt. Yes. Um, and shorts. What color? Is the color gray? So you're going to say gray shorts. Gray shorts. Uh huh. <clears throat> no more. So uh, you're not wearing sneakers. So what do you or... say, calcetines? How do you say? How do you say calcetines? Calcetines is socks. Um, socks. Socks. Uh, are you wearing sneakers? No, only socks. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Are you wearing a watch? Are you wearing a watch? No. No, I'm not. Repeat. No, I'm not. No, no I'm not. Are, are you no, wearing not. are you wearing earrings? Earrings? Yes. Yes, I am. Are you wearing earrings? An ear. No, that's rings. This is this is ah, this perdón, is rings. Sí, sí, sí. But these are earrings. Sí. Correcto. Entonces, no. Okay. Go ahead, Ricardo. What are you wearing tonight? I am wearing a blue shirt and a white shorts and sneakers. Vaya, pero solo la corrección con shorts, ahí no vamos a usar artículo, ¿ok? Solo vamos a decir ah, white solamente... shorts. Shorts. Solo, solo con los primero, singulares. Entonces... Solo con los singulares. Ah, okay. eh, me preguntaban la diferencia entre shirt y t-shirt. ¿Quién se lo sabe? Shirt and t-shirt. Nobody. Creo que, mm -hmm. creo que teacher is camisa y shirt is falda. Falda, falda is skirt. Te lo voy a poner oh, yeah. en el chat. Shirt is skirt. Skirt, <laughs> falda, right? Entonces, mm -hmm. tenemos diferencias porque t-shirt, t-shirt, es una camiseta, 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 tal cual. Similar a la jersey que tiene uh, Wilfred, right? Es una camiseta informal. Y shirt, shirt vendría siendo así, como lo que anda aquí a su servidor, right? Manga larga, long sleeves, con buttons, ok, formal. Camisa de vestir. Correct. So shirt is formal. And t-shirt is informal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. Can you tell me, can you tell me, um, let me see, clothes for work. Can you tell me clothes for work? Can you tell me examples? A tie. A what? A tie. Uh -huh. A tie. Uh -huh. Sweet. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit. A suit, which is the combination of the jacket and the pants, right? Suit. That's it. And the other students? Participation, folks. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, a young wearing a red t-shirt um, and a blue shorts, sandals, and headphones. Excellent, excellent. Solo en shorts no vas a poner el artículo. Solo en shorts, black shorts, blue shorts, gray shorts, sin el artículo, right? Porque shorts es plural, okay? okay. Good job, Amalia. Nice job. Vámonos a la asistencia real quick. Gracias por la participación. Yes. 
excuse me, teacher. Eh, me dice Rocío que, perdón, Heiser, que no puede ingresar porque tiene problemas de conexión. Heiser. Que, lo, que, le, que le indique por ahí porque, ajá, Heiser. I appreciate Está the intentando ahí, sir. pero se le... Se le complica. Ok. okay. Thank you. Vámonos. Aquí, Amalia, Aquí. Gabriela, Pérez, Argueta, are you in the house? I'm here, teacher. All right. Daniel Enrique Martínez Velázquez. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. Present. Enrique Aurelio Solís Martínez. Present, teacher. Ileana Elizabeth Hernández Juárez. Present. Heise Rocío Pastrán de Enríquez es quien está teniendo los problemas ahorita de conexión. Jacqueline Elizabeth Cayot Rivas. Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. I'm here, teacher. What are you wearing today, Jonathan? Sorry? What Repeat, what are please. you yes what are you wearing today? Ah, uh, eh, I'm fine. Mm, you sure? Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Vas a practicar esta pregunta. What are you wearing? Era era uh, en realidad tu tarea, pero me la vas a decir después. Ah, okay. 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 okay, José Augusto Sorry. Hernández Fernández, are you there? Canon Jamilet Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. What are you wearing today, Karen? I am wearing white t shirt. Ah, I see. Ah, white t shirt. Uh, I am wearing a white t shirt and blue jeans mm -hmm. and socks. <laughs> no shoes, no sneakers, no. ¿Cómo se dice jeans? ¿Quién sabe cómo se dice jeans? Como sandals. Sandals vendría siendo sandalias. Ah, uh, jeans, no sé. <laughs> Vamos a decir flip flops. Flip flops. Repeat, flip flops. Flip flops. ¿Y pantuflas? No, solo soup. <laughs> Slippers. Sleepers. No creo que solo anden en calcetines. Todos me dicen en socks, en socks, en socks. <laughs> ¿Ah? O sea, que esos calcetines terminan, oh my goodness, dirty, dirty. Por comodidad. <laughs> excellent, excellent, thank you. That was Karen, ¿verdad? Lilian Elizabeth Aguilar Hamburger. Karen Elizabeth de la O Maldonado. Marlon David Pere Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. What are you wearing today, Marlon? I am wearing a black t-shirt. Yeah, I am wearing a white short. Shorts? Yeah. Shorts? White shorts? Shorts. Pronou pronounce the S. Shorts. Plural. Shorts. Uh, shorts. Tienes que pronunciar yeah, la S al final people. para que se te escuche plural, ¿ok? Marlon. Así como decimos jeans, ahora shorts. Shorts. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ok, continue. I am flip flops. And flip flops. And flip flops. Thank you. Nice job, Marlon. Continue working, ok. Let me go with Marvin Nivardo Escobar. Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejía. Present teacher. Neri Gabriel Villagrán Sandoval. Patricia Yamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Stephanie Daniela Maltés Vázquez. Tamara Alexandra Portillo Melara. Present teacher. Thank you. Present teacher. Who's that? Stephanie? 
Yes, Stephanie. <laughs> All right, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Tatiana Lisset Ramos Gomez. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Hi, Tiff. Welcome to class. Veronica Abigail Martinez de Reyes. Vilma, Vilma Esmeralda Banegas Pacheco. Wilfredo Bonilla Alvarez. Present teacher. All right. William Benjamin Clara Caldames. And Desenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Present teacher. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me go ahead and uh, share the screen now. I think you're going to help me because my drive is working slow. Okay, we already studied this, which is clothes for leisure and clothes for work, remember? So it's different. Now we're going to study, let me see, we're going to study colors. We studied this, we studied this, we need to study this, right? Let's pay attention. Orange. Yellow. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the colors and you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real conversation. Let's start by looking at the image on the screen and listening to the colors. You should listen and repeat. White. Light gray. Gray, dark gray, beige, light brown, brown, dark brown, black, red, pink, orange, yellow, light green, Green, dark green, light blue, blue, dark blue, purple. Now, we're going to listen and repeat to a conversation which illustrates how colors are used to describe clothing. Let's listen and repeat. Great! Our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? What color is it? It's white. Here's a light blue blouse. Is it yours? No, it's not mine. Wait! It is mine. It's a disaster! Oh no! All our clothes are light blue. Here's the problem. It's these new blue jeans. Whose jeans are they? Uh, they're mine. Sorry. What I would like for you to do next is to practice this conversation. If you have a partner with whom you can practice with. Brown. Already. Tell me. Tell me. What are your favorite colors? Uh, three students who tell me your favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? Three volunteers, please. Go ahead. My cool. favorite color are dark blue, uh, black, and pink. Now, remember that this sentence, Tamar, is plural. So, uh, you're telling color in plural with the letter S. Color with the letter S. Colors. It's My your, favorite sorry. colors. Are. Yo no participé. I'm sorry. Yo no estaba hablando. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ahorita va a estar mal. Ahorita va a estar mal. Okay. Entonces, cuando dices en plural, eh, vamos a decirlo colors. Okay. My, my favorite colors my, my are. Colors are. Okay. Aunque de lo contrario es singular y vamos a usar is. My favorite color is. Si es solo uno. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Mar Portillo. Go ahead. My favorite color colors is are sorry are red um black um purple 
Okay, red, black, and purple. Yes. No pink, huh? Most of the girls, most of the girls like the pink color, right? Okay, let My me listen to... My favorite color is pink. Pink? Is that you, Eliana? Okay, thank you. What about you, Sabrina? Go ahead. My favorite colors are purple, green, and black. Purple, green, and black. What about you, Tiffany? My favorite colors are purple, dark blue, and red. Purple, dark blue, and red. Now, don't forget, don't forget the bird to be. My favorite colors are, yes? My favorite colors are, yes. And Wilfredo, go ahead. My favorite color is dark blue. Dark blue, that's it. Period, huh? Dark blue. Dark dark blue. blue. I like it. I like it. Okay, what, what, what colors are you wearing right now? Bueno, en realidad me gustaría practicar más este tema, pero, you know, tenemos que movernos, chicos. Gracias por tener ahí esa participación, ahí con todo, as usual. Vamos a hablar de positives. Let's check it out. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster. Which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. 
So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. Car. And now, um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and co-workers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Do you guys have any question about this? Possessives. We have possessive adjective, possessive pronoun, and possessive name. Do you have any question? Okay, now when we use possessive adjectives, the object goes at the end. Mm -hmm. Can you provide one example using possessive adjective? For example, my, your, his, her, whatever you want. Can you give one example, please? My cell phone is mine. Hers. My coworkers. Yes. Mm, my cell phone is what color or what brand? Puede decir una, un color o una marca. Mm -hmm. My cell phone is what? My cell phone is color black. It's black color, okay. Black, my black cell phone color. is black color, yeah, okay. Black color. Uh -huh. 
good. My cell phone. My cell phone is black color. Thank you. Um, my computer is black. My computer is black. Okay. Can you give one example using positive adjective? For example, si es para ella, sería her. A ver, posesiones para ella. Possessions. This is her para book. Uh -huh. This is her book. This is her dog. Correct. This is her dog. It's ella la dueña. This is her dog. This is her computer. This is her computer. Excellent. This is her computer. Your, your. A ver, con your. ¿Qué me dirían a mí? Yo sería la, la segunda persona en este caso. Your, what? Your, what? This is your cell phone. This is your cell phone, correct. This is your cell phone, excellent. Somebody else? Si no, check, we have the names. We have the name, you have the apostrophe and the letter S. Y ahí ya estamos hablando de una posesión. ¿Verdad? For example, Rex's, Rex's t-shirt. Aunque lleve X, ¿verdad? Rex's t-shirt. Julie's jeans, Julie's jeans, Pat's blouse, la blusa, la de ella. So guys, please uh, try to uh, memorize this information. It's highly important you dominate this one, okay? Let's go to the next one. We're going to talk about weather and seasons. Repeat, weather and seasons. Weather and seasons. Weather and seasons. Weather, Weather and seasons. is clima, ¿verdad? And seasons. Yeah, seasons. Son las estaciones del año. Estaciones. Yes. That's right. Let's check this out. We'll have a video to watch. Let's pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather mm -hmm. seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh, no. What's the matter? It's snowing, and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. All right, all right, all right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to repeat this conversation. It's snowing. Also the weather, right? About the weather. We have um, spring, spring. Repeat, it's spring in Brazil. It's spring, spring in Brazil. Brazil. It's spring in Brazil. Repeat, it's warm. It's very sunny. It's a spring, it's spring, spring in, in Brazil. In Brazil. Yeah. It's warm. And it's, it's very sunny. In Brazil. 
spring, primavera, ¿verdad? Spring. It's spring. <clears throat> Next, it's summer in Korea. Repeat, it's summer in Korea. Hello? It's summer, summer. In, in, Korea. Summer in Korea. You know what is summer? Summer. What is summer? You need summer in Korea. Verano. Correct. <coughs> Verano. Verano. Okay. Continue. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's raining. It's, it's raining. hot it's and... and humid. Vamos acá. And it's summer in Korea. It's raining. Está lloviendo. It's raining. It's hot and humid. Repeat. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's hot, it's hot and humid. humid. Hot and humid. Hot and humid. Mm -hmm. What about here? What about here? It's fall. Repeat fall. It's fall. fall. You know what fall. is what is station fall. what is station of the year is fall? Somebody? <clears throat> Correct. Otoño. Fall. Repeat, it's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's cool. It's cool. It's, cool. it's cloudy. It's cloudy and windy. And Wendy. Okay. Excellent. Let's move on. We have a conversation right here, okay? Um, teacher Kalev is going to interpret oh, Pat, no. and all the students are going to interpret Julie at the same time. Ready, guys? Girls? Okay, teacher. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, no. What? What is mother? mother? If it's snowing and it's very cold, are you are wearing, you your, wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, well, well you're wearing, wearing your gloves. Okay. Can you repeat that? Well, you're well, wearing, wearing your coat. Coat, okay. Coat. But my coat isn't warm and I am not wearing boots. Okay. okay. Let's Let's take take a taxi. Taxi. Thanks, Julie. Okay, students start on three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, no. What's the oh, matter? No. What's the matter? What's the matter? It's, it's snowing. snowing. And it's very and cold. It's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No. 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 At, home. At, home. At home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat is warm. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> nice job. Good job. Let's see here. The conversation that we just heard. Yeah. This conversation we can go ahead and move on now for our next topic. We're going to use present continuous. Ustedes se fijaron, ya habían bastantes eh, expresiones con el ING. ¿Verdad? El famoso ING, que es cuando, por ejemplo, en español decimos algo que termina en ando o endo. Eso es el ING en inglés. ¿Ok? So, being that said, let's go to the next objective. Statements using present continuous. ¿Para cuándo se escupa esto? Es para las acciones que están ocurriendo en el momento que hablamos. ¿Ok? Okay. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. 
For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. Okay, the structure is the structure is subject. Yes. Subject plus verb to be. Okay, verb to be plus verb with ing. Okay. That's pretty much the formula. For example, I am talking right now. I am I explaining. Am yes, I am watching the uh, television. So can you tell me, can you tell me two things you are doing today? Remember, you can use the conjunctions and and but. And to add additional information. For example, here says, it's snowing, está nevando, it's snowing, and it's very cold, and it's very cold. Estoy agregando información. Entonces, para eso usamos and. Yo puedo decir, it's hot, and, and it's very, uh, what, windy, for example. Okay. And, but, vamos a usar but cuando exista un contraste entre una oración positiva y una nueva oración negativa, o viceversa. Right? You're listening Como un contraste, to the teacher. class. Por ejemplo, tienes que hacer a cámara una oración positiva. Ahí él dice, I am wearing a coat. Yo estoy vistiendo un abrigo. I am wearing a coat. But, pero, ahora viene algo negativo. I am not mm -hmm. wearing boots. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, yo ahorita, I am wearing a, a black shirt. Yes. I am wearing mm -hmm. a black shirt. But I am not wearing uh, sunglasses, gafas, mm -hmm. sunglasses. Do you understand? Y el otro yeah. era en, ese era para agregar información, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Additional information. Okay. okay. Can you tell me, can you tell me three things? Dos cosas que al menos estés haciendo en este momento. What are you doing right now? What are you doing right now? Can you tell me? I am, I am studying. I am studying. Thank you, Rick. Next I am, student. I am reading. I am reading. Thank you. Reading. I am right. I am right. Con el ing. Writing. 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 Mm -hmm. I am writing the class. Yes. What else? I am learning. Learning. I am learning. Yes, I am learning a lot. Yes. What else? I am learning English right now. I am learning English right now. Fantastic example. I love it. I love it. I love it. I am learning English right now. Okay. Alguien más? ¿Quién debe? ¿Quién debe, chicos? Mm -hmm. I am trying to see. I am, I'm sorry, repeat. I am trying to think. I am trying to think. Think. Estoy intentando pensar, huh? Yes, think. I am trying to think. Think. Okay, so you are like concentrating, right? You're concentrating. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job. Excellent job, guys. A ver, y si ahora me dan un ejemplo con possessive name. En el possessive name, tenían que usar el nombre, right? Y um, un apostrofe, que es una comita y una letra S. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the formula right there, guys. Let me see, Seve. Let me check. Wait, 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 wait. One second, one second, one second. Here. Bye. 
So the formula is right here. So C, subject, verb to be, verb with ing, and the complement. Quiero que me, que me preparen un ejemplo de qué están haciendo ustedes ahorita. What are you doing right now? ¿Qué está haciendo un miembro de su familia en este momento? Right? ¿Y qué podría estar haciendo tu mejor amigo o amiga? Prepare those examples. I give you five minutes. Go ahead. Five minutes. Family member. Right? Best friend. Y usted, ¿qué está haciendo usted también ahorita? What are you doing right now? Five minutes to prepare. Cinco minutos para preparar. Y me comparten. I'll be right back. Estas fórmulas, estas fórmulas, hay que guardarlas, ¿verdad? Puedes chatearlo, you can chat it or you can say it. Quien ya lo va teniendo, you can chat it or you can say it. Okay, in that case, I'm going to ask, I'm going to ask randomly, I like it. Let me see, Mauricio Lopez, can you hear me? Jonathan Levy, can you hear me? Hola, teacher, hola. What are you doing right now? In this moment, I am uh, calificando, como se dice? Evaluating or scoring? Evaluating uh, the exam. Okay, you're you're evaluating some exams. Yes. You are, you are evaluating some exams. Es tú estás, right? En este momento, it's happening. Yep. Thank you. Next volunteer. Okay, teacher. let's go with, yes, go ahead. Teacher. Okay, um, I am paying attention to my class, mm -hmm. to my English class. Um, my sister is uh, checking her social media. And okay. my best friend, I think she is <clears throat> watching TV. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Nothing but wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. Tamara, are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, my sister using her cell phone. Okay. I'm studying. And my best friend, I think, is uh, how do you say comiendo? Comiendo? Eat? Yes. Sería comer. Eating con ING. Eating. Okay, my best friend is eating. Eating dinner, huh? Comiendo la cena. Eating dinner. Yes. Yes. That's great. That's great. That's great. ¿Quién más? Let me see Yesenia. Go ahead, Yesenia. Uh, uh, I am drink, drinking coffee. Drinking, drinking. Drinking coffee. My my grandmother is watching television. My friend is playing soccer. Muy bien. Solo pulamos ahí television. O puede decir TV. TV. Television or TV. Sabrina, go ahead. My friend is working. My mom is washing the dishes. Okay. And I am doing university homework. Wonderful job. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Se están luciendo, huh? Se están luciendo. Let me see. Ricardo, go ahead. 
<clears throat> I am trying to learn a little English. My wife is watching TV and my song is making homework. Wow. Eh, para la tarea vamos a decir doing. Doing. Ok, ok. Uh -huh. Perdón. Corrijamos ahí. Solo sería la única observación. Nice job, Mr. Ricardo. ¿Quién más? Karen, go ahead. I am studying English class. Yes, you My are. brother. Perdón. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Continue. My brother is watching TV. My bre my, my best friends are sleeping. Mm, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Good job. No tengo ninguna observación, miss. Nicely done. Hey. Wilfred, go ahead. Uh, my eldest son is sleeping. Okay. My, my friend is uh, my friend is traveling uh, at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I am learning English. Excellent, excellent. You got it, sir. Uh, let me see, Marlon, go ahead. I am learning English class. My mother is listening to music. Mm -hmm. yeah. and my friend is watching TV. Fantastic. Nice job. Y uno más. Marlon, go ahead. Are you there, Marlon? No? Yes, no? Maybe? My, my brother is... Uh, the, <laughs> Working, exercising, sleeping. Yes. I have a question. Let me see. Speaking. Speaking. Okay. I have a question for Jonathan. Are you there, Jonathan? No. Okay. Yes, what sir. Sure. Okay, Jonathan. What? What are you wearing right now? Yes, este, I am learning uh, in the class. Yes, correct. Uh, uh, listen uh, to the uh, question. Listen to the question. What are you wearing right now? Right. What are you doing right now? This what are you doing? Okay, te la voy a cambiar. What are you doing right now? What are you doing versus, versus, right? The other question is different. Is different. What are you wearing? Es de vestir. Where is de vestir? What are you wearing? Que estás vestiendo? Okay. What are you doing? Que estás haciendo? Entonces mejor hagamos esto. What are you doing? Okay. Este, I am learning in the class, and my father, my father is watching TV. Yes. Yes. That's it? And no more family members? Okay. Not a problem. Let me go ahead and call the attendance real quick, guys. We're almost finished tonight's class. Good participation. Good participation con los possessives. Tal vez hacemos un cajut mañana de los possessives. Let me go with um, Amalia Gabriela Perez Argueta. Daniel Enrique oh, Martinez. Yeah. Thank you, Amalia. Elena Marisol Peralta Amador. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Enrique Aurelio Solis Martinez. Present, teacher. Jesus Rocío Pastrán de, de Enriquez. Ileana no Elizabeth. Yeah. Enrique Juarez. Jonathan Levy Gamesa Varca. Present Ileana Elizabeth. Ileana Elizabeth, let me see. Ileana Elizabeth Hernandez, aquí está, okay. Y Jacqueline Elizabeth Cayo Rivas. Bien, tenemos que ponerle acá. Okay. And Jonathan Levy Gámez Abarca. Jose Augusto Hernández Fernández. Got it. 
Present teacher. Okay, thank you. And Jose Augusto P. Hernandez Fernandez. Okay, missing in action. Karen Jamilet Perez Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Lillian Elizabeth Aguilar Hamburger. Missing in action. May Elizabeth de la O. Maldonado. Marlon David Peraza Chiquillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Nivardo Escobar. Okay. Um, Mauricio Enrique Crespin López. Melida Guadalupe Canales Cruz. Wow. Natalia Beatriz Flores Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Neri Gabriel Villagran Sandoval. Patricia Yamilet Martínez Landa Verde. Present teacher. Ricardo Belloso Ruiz. Present teacher. Sabrina Itzel Hueso Peralta. Present teacher. Estefanía Daniela Maltes Vázquez. All right, Tamara Alexandra Portillo Melara. I'm here, teacher. Thanks, Tatiana Lisette Ramos Cortez. Okay, Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you, Veronica Abigail Martinez de Reyes. Missing in action, Vilma Esmeralda Vandigas Pacheco. Wilfredo Bonilla Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. William Benjamin Clara Gardames. That's absent. And Yesenia Elizabeth Cañas Pascual. Present teacher. Thank you so much for your attendance, guys. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. I will see you on Monday. Be careful. Enjoy your Saturday and your Sunday. I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye. Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank, you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. My big Bye. pleasure. Good night. Happy weekend for you, too. Thank you.